All right, Blues, welcome back to the Transfer Target. It's Monday and it's episode 43, and we've got good news this Monday. Unlike last Monday when I just moaned for five, six minutes, uh, this is good news this week. But before we get started, it's the very last day where you can enter to win the signed ball from our trip to Australia. So the link's on screen now and it'll be in the description below. Click on that, go and like that video, comment on that video, and you'll have a chance to win the ball. Some not-so-good news before we get into the good news. Um, the press conference that we put up on Friday, I know you, a lot of you loved it, um, some great comments from you, but that will be the last one uh, on the channel. Um, the club have asked us not to use them anymore, uh, no other fan sites are allowed, so it's, it's a fair decision. Um, but what we would like, if you're watching City TV, please put them back on, everyone really liked watching uh, Pellegrini's press conference on Friday. So if you want to see those from now on, guys, you've got to go and check out City TV or the City website, uh, I'm sure they'll start going back up on there. So let's get into the good news. You'll see Kevin De Bruyne is very, very close to the middle of the circle, which means he's very close to signing for City. I know that we've been talking about him constantly forever and you're probably sick of it. I'm not sick of talking about him actually now because this is the week where we will sign Kevin De Bruyne. Um, I'm almost certain about that now. Um, City want him in time for the Chelsea game. That's how quick we want to get this deal done. There's no messing about. Uh, it's not going to drag on, hopefully, like it did with the Sterling deal with a couple of bids here and there, all this stupid add-on stuff. Um, reports in Belgium, so obviously he's a Belgian. Reports over there are saying that City put in a £39 million bid for De Bruyne, which was rejected, but that went straight back in with a bid worth £46 million, which Christophe Taro, um, HNL, if you check him out on Twitter, he's really good with um, this whole transfer saga. He said that a £46 million bid that we have put in will be enough to sign De Bruyne. It's, I think it's about 40 to £41 million plus £5 million in add-ons. But I hope that Cheeky can just get it done. None of this messing about with add-ons. Just give them the feet that they want. Um, Martin Blackburn from The Sun, who's extremely reliable with City, is confident. If he's confident, you should be confident. He reckons um, that the player is keen and that only en ever ends up one way, which will be him coming to the club. However, we've got a bit of a, a cool little exclusive. Luke Hill is one of our viewers, has sent in this footage of Pellegrini himself talking about the uh, De Bruyne situation, so check this out. Have you got any information on De Bruyne? Not for the moment. Not for the moment. No. Are we going to be getting him though? We'll yeah, yeah, we are. So that's what Pellegrini has to say about it. Um, what's everyone else saying about it? Well, all the English press uh, pretty much convinced that he's going to come to City. We're pretty much convinced he's going to come to City and I reckon it will be this week and he, I don't know if he's going to be ready for the Chelsea game. It, that's the dream, isn't it? He comes off the bench and scores the winner on Sunday um, and then knee slides in front of Mourinho but we'll have to see if that happens. Um, but what do you think about the De Bruyne situation? A few of you have said that you, well a lot on Twitter have said oh you prefer a, a player like Isco or something like that but is De Bruyne the man for you? Let us know in the comments below. For me, De Bruyne, Silva, Sterling and Aguero is the best top, is the best front four, front four in England and the best front four I think we've seen in England for a long time. Um, and it's one of the best in the world if you, if you ignore Barcelona and Real Madrid's front threes. Sterling, Silva, De Bruyne and Aguero is terrifying. So uh, I can't wait for that one to happen. Um, one that I don't think will happen, that I think is just speculation, is Karim Benzema. Um, I don't even know why I'm putting him on the, the thing because he's going about here. Um, Tancredi Palmieri um, tweeted that City have put in a 70 million euro bid for, for Benzema to try and prime away from Real Madrid. He's an Arsenal target and we've heard about that all summer. Um, the number nine shirt is available, but Pellegrini himself has said that City aren't in the market for a striker this window and that Kelechi Iheanacho will take that third striker role. Do you want Benzema at City? I don't know. Let us know in the comments below about that one. Let us know your thoughts on today's transfers and drop a like um, if you're excited for City's first game of the season tonight against West Brom. And I'll see you tomorrow for episode 44 of the Transfer Target. This is Ricky the Hitman Hatton. Subscribe to Blue Moon Rising TV for a knockout time.